Alrighty, welcome back to another live stream. Today we're going to be doing some more roster editing before the playoff games that are on tonight. Because it is Monday the 24th and the Canadians and Leafs are on tonight and I obviously want to watch that game. And I can't stay up too late tonight because I do have work in the morning. So, we're going to do some more roster editing. Uh, in the last stream we finished the Edmonton Oilers jam mode. I won't spoil how it ended for those of you who didn't watch it. Or who haven't had a chance to see it yet, so I won't say anything. Uh, all I'm going to say is we have an MVP. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if we're going to be editing Edmonton yet today. I know I want to start with St. Louis because they just lost their playoff round. So we're going to start with St. Louis, edit them first, and then uh, move on to some other teams. So let's do it. Let's do it. Um, so NHL.com, got to get that up and ready. Up and ready to go so I can make some edits. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to slowly but surely make my way through every single team in the league and have fair uh, fair statistics so that when I start my next GM mode competition um, series, my next GM mode team, I'll be ready to go with a good, uh, a good, an accurate roster for the most part at least. So David Perron led their team in points this season. He was out for the playoffs, which is probably a big factor as to why they lost. Although, I think we all saw their loss coming, uh, despite Ryan, their captain's words of wisdom before the series. I think we all saw their loss coming. But he was well above a point per game. He was on pace to be well above a point per game. I think he's earned the right to be more than just a two-way forward. Um, now, what kind of forward we make him, I'm not sure. But uh, he's definitely earned the right to be better than what he is right now. Probably around a 90, maybe an 89. Okay, maybe not a 90. Probably like an 89. Um, but yeah, definitely some upgrades coming for him. Uh, deking, durability, maybe upgrade that a little bit. Deking, hand eye. Whoops, that's way too high. Shot blocking up there. Offense awareness. There we go. I think that's quite a fair overall for David Perron. Um, I'm going to change it from a two way forward. I think he's earned the right to be on the, on the power play and stuff. So let's make him a nice playmaker there. He does have 39 assists on the season, in a, in a shortened season that is. So pretty good for him. Ryan O'Reilly is a notoriously good two-way forward. 54 points in 56 games. He earned his overall 89. It's perfect. Vladimir Tarasenko, it's hard to judge him. Although he was having a pretty rough year this year. I'm not going to change him just because he was playing through injury and all that all that stuff. Tory Krug, offense defenseman, is pretty fair. Braden Shen, 36 points, a little bit of an off year, a little bit of an off year, and if, if I go by my standards of ratings, it's a 52-point season, it's about, about an 84, so I'll give him a little bit of a downgrade. Although I do like Braden Shen, I do like the game he plays, but uh, the St. Louis Blues got outmatched, completely outmatched. So there you go, 84, Braden Shen. Um... Same with Mike Hoffman, although he had a bit of a better point pace than uh, than Braden Shen did. He was on a 57 point pace, so we earned an 85 overall for Mike Hoffman. Uh, wait, am I blind? Oh, there you go, 85, perfect. Um, Jordan Cairo. Jordan Cairo had about the same as Shen, so 84 is what he earned. Where is he at? 83. All right, that's fair, and he's going to grow. Robert Thomas. Oh my goodness, he had a, well actually, not a bad year. He was injured, so it's hard, hard to judge. Justin Falk, how was your year? Before he got absolutely destroyed and injured, which sucks. Um, I don't know if I'd consider him an OFD anymore. I think at two ways, quite fair. Um, but he, he earned a little bit of an upgrade. You know, he, maybe not that much speed, but he earned a bit of an upgrade. A slight upgrade, nothing... Uh, Nothing too crazy, just a slight upgrade. Make him a two-way defenseman. Offensive awareness is a little high. And boost his defensive awareness. There we go. I don't really consider him an OFD at this point in his career, especially when he plays behind Tori Krug. He's more of a two-way defenseman. Plays a good good two-way game. That's what it seems like. Although he has the most minutes on the team in terms of defense. So, 86 overall is fair. Uh, Colton Pareko, DFD. Colton Pareko is a pretty good guy, too. Can't really judge him by points. He had an off year, injured a lot. Maybe I'll downgrade him a little bit, but I think 85 is quite fair. Jaden Schwartz. 
Jaden Schwartz, 0.53 pace. 44 points. See, 83 overall. Jeez, oh, Jaden Schwartz is getting a downgrade. Jaden Schwartz is getting a downgrade. Speed, he's still pretty fast. I'm like an 88. But puck control and passing, his shooting's going to be downgraded a little bit. Just a bit of an off year. Just a bit of an off year for him. Uh, the Blues weren't as dominant as they usually are. <laughs> I, just like him, uh, I just realized I gave him uh, 69 face-offs. Oh, wait, he's good in the dot, but whatever, he's a winger. So Jaden Schwartz is there. Um, am I forgetting anybody? Maybe Kyra can be upgrade. I don't know. I don't know. He, he, hmm. Yeah, maybe a slight upgrade. Maybe a slight upgrade. I think he's a bit better than what the game's given him. 91, that's fine. 79, there we go. Passing and puck control, maybe just a slight upgrade. His shooting, maybe just a little bit better. There we go. There we go. Nice little upgrade for uh, for your boy, Jordan Kyrie, right there. Um, just a little bit. There you go. They're all about the same there. Vince Dunn. Vince Dunn. Oof. Did he even play? Where is he? Vince Dunn, 20 points. Eh, bit of a down year for him, but that's okay. Bozak. I think these guys are all pretty good where they are. Sammy Blay, 80 overall Sammy Blay. Did he deserve better this year? Let's see. Eh, eh, not really. It's hard to judge. A bit of an off year. Scandell is good defensively, but uh, I think 80 overall is quite fair for him. What about McKeekern? No, I don't think he was that good. He's just a goon. Yeah. Mikola, Mikola. Mm, oof, minus 11. Get him out of here. Wallman. How did Wallman do when he played? Doesn't seem like he played. So, there's that. De La Rose was awful as well. Alex Steen is 70 overall. Oh, right, he retired. Right. Or he just, like, stopped playing or something. I don't know what. Jordan, <laughs> Jordan Bennington. All right, moving on to the goalies. Moving on to the goalies. I'm not even going to consider their playoffs, honestly. They, they ran into a really good... Uh, Avalanche team. I think anybody in that position would have lost. I'm gonna give Bennington a slight downgrade, not a huge downgrade, just a slight. Because he's on a good he's on a good team. He's on a good team, but like I think he's slightly overrated. 893 for Billy Huso. I'm gonna leave him as is that I think. High starter. It's a bit of a stretch. A slight upgrade like that. I think that's fair. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. What the heck? One second.
All right, sorry about that. Yes, yes, sir. Welcome back, Candy. Sorry, I was silent there. I uh, my nephew called me, so I had to be a little bit quiet. But uh, we're definitely upgrading some of the players in the Penguins because Crosby had an unreal year. Gensel had a great year, over a point per game. So we're giving these guys a bit of an upgrade in terms of their offensive stats at least. Latang had a really, really good year. A really good year, honestly. Uh, so yeah, uh, Gensel got a nice little upgrade to reflect that he was a point per game player this year. Uh, Crosby, 93 I think is fair. So I'm going to leave him at a 93. Malkin, 91. He was injured this year, a bit of a weird one. <laughs> we need more of my nephew. Yeah, he was over today, but... Uh, uh, I was hanging out with my girlfriend and her sister and my nephew, so we just kind of just wanted to chill and, you know, I'm not sure. He's a little too young to be to be put on the camera too, uh, not on camera, but on the mic too often, so. Um, he's not really old enough to give consent to be on a, on a video, you know what I mean? But uh, he's hilarious, though. But anyway, we made Latang an 88. I think that's quite fair. Uh, offensive defenseman. 88 overall, you know, he had 45 points in 55 games, plus 19. I'd say 88 overall is even being a little bit uh, conservative in terms of his upgrades, but I mean, no, 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 I mean, I'm only about an 88. He was already like an 86 before. I think 88 is quite fair. The guy was a near point per game defenseman. He was a plus 19. He was very, very good. Very good. Uh, Brian Rust. All right, next up is Brian Rust. 42 point season, a .75 pace. That's a 62-point pace, about an 85. So I'll give him a slight upgrade, just a slight, just a slight upgrade. I don't, I don't know why he's medium nine. He's, it's a bit better than that. Uh, all you do is look at this year's stats. I mean, no, like in my head, I, I, I consider their track record, obviously, but I mean, this year's stats is pretty important. I'd say, I'd say this year's stats is a pretty important indicator as to how they're doing. And, um, like, for example, like, Balkan, like, Tarasenko, you know, they've been injured a lot. You know, I can't really look at Kucherov. It's hard to hard to judge him, right? He's been injured all year, but there's a lot of players who had really bad years, but there's a lot of them who I gave the benefit of the doubt to. Exactly. Like, I, I, like, I mean, the game's supposed to be updated as, to play how they're, how they're playing. Yeah, exactly. They're fair overall. Thank you. Exactly. Um, and it gives me more of a ballpark. Like, obviously, like, let's say I look at, uh, let's say I look at Crosby, right? Let's say I looked at Crosby, he had, like, let's say he had a bad point percentage, right? I'm not going to lower him to an 86. We all know Crosby's really, really good. You know, like, obviously, I consider who they are. Yeah, like, ob I'm taking previous years into consideration. There's a few players I've looked at, and I, Crosby's not a fraud. My goodness gracious. Don't even start this argument with me. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. He was over a point per game on a team full of injuries. He can't even try to argue that. Um, and he has a lot of cups. So, Alright, Brian Russ, we already edited. Uh, Jared McCann. Ooh, Jared McCann had a good year. What the heck? He had a .74 pace. It's about an 84. 85 overall for Jared McCann. Or it's the refs. Nah. Alright, I don't, I don't know what you're trying to argue here. I don't know. I don't know what you're trying to argue here. There's no argument to be had. There's no argument to be had. I'm so confused. Um, acceleration. He's a quick player. Good agility. Give him some good speed. That's that's good speed right there. Endurance. His passing's good. Nice little upgrade for Jared with the offensive. Yeah, okay, but Crosby takes so many licks from other players, like slashes, cross checks, like it goes both it it cuts both ways. It cuts both ways hundred percent. The refs miss everything this year. It's not just Crosby. Bro, they they literally watched They literally watched someone by the name of uh <laughs> I don't even know if I want to get into this. Uh, they literally watched Wilson grab someone by the hair and throw him to the ice and didn't call anything. So if we're going to start talking about refs, then it applies to every team. It applies to every team and every player. Jason Zucker's going to get downgraded a little bit. What, Kapanen's over? I haven't done Kapanen yet, but he's going to get an upgrade. He had a really good year. Uh, Zucker's going to be a bit downgraded. He's more of a grinder this year. He didn't really play. He didn't really play the way he usually does, Zucker. 
Whoops. Defensive winner should be higher than offense winners. Yeah, I think 82 is fair for Zucker. Zucker was not great this year. Not great this year at all. Uh, John Marino. This is a guy I wanted to look at. I, ha I have a lot of Penguins fans, as far as I can see on Twitter and stuff, who love this kid. Over half of Ovi's goals come from the dots. Yeah, so? I'm confused. I, I don't look, I, we have, we're not even talking about Ovi yet. Um, medium four. I have so many people, like I, I see so many people online talking about this guy like he's a stud, so I'll, I'll give him an 82 for now, but I give him better potential. Cross and feed him 24 seven. Yeah, but Obi's. Oh, okay, we're trying to say Obi's overrated now. Oh my goodness, what are what are these arguments you're trying to make here? <laughs> uh, Zucker Cap. Yeah, Capitan's at an 83, but my man's. You want to know what pace he was on this year? For for an 82 game season, he was on a 62 point pace. Man's was on Man's was on a tear this year. No denying it. Oh, okay, okay. I was just wondering what you're arguing. I was just trying to see. I was just trying to see what you're arguing. I was just confused. Because I didn't see the beginning of the conversation there. Because <laughs> there's no way uh, Ovi's underrated. He's, uh, you don't get that, you don't get that many goals by being underrated. You don't get that many goals. <laughs> yeah, yo, he's going after all these Hall of Favors. Whatever. Hey man, everyone has their opinion. It's fine. It's fine. That's, that's what we're here for. We're here to just talk and and just listen to each other and just talk about it, right? That's, that's the fun of hockey. You can just say whatever you want. Everyone's allowed their own opinions. Um, Marcus Pedersen. I think they're fine the way they are like that. Do they do they think they deserve an upgrade? I mean, Dumoulin was a plus 18. Maybe I'll give Dumoulin a slight upgrade defensively at least. Like his defensive stats a little bit. Like body checking, maybe puck control and passing a little bit. Maybe make it so we can hit the net. Obi does not have a great D game. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I'll give you that. His defensive game's always been uh, been up for debate. It's gotten better since he first came in the league, though. There's no denying that. He's definitely better than when he first came into the league. Shot blocking's upgrade that. Defensive awareness a little bit higher. There you go. Brian Dublin gets a little... A little upgrade to reflect his def strong defensive year. I'll give him a medium four. He's not going to grow anyway. Just to keep him at his overall a bit higher for a bit longer. But just to, ref just to reflect a good defensive... Like his stat, like yeah, it shows 84. But don't get too caught up in the overall for some of the players that I'm upgrading. Like it, He shows 84 overall, but if you look at his, his, his uh, advanced stats, it's all defensive, right? So like I, like I like if you look at uh, Joel Edmondson, I upgraded because he was a plus 28 on Montreal. I made him an 83. But if you look at his advanced stats, look at his physical, look at his defense. Like it's all defensive. It's not. I'm not making this guy a stud. You know, I'm not making him a superstar. I'm just making him a good defensive player. Uh, Zucker is fine. Captain got an upgrade because I mean he earned it. Um, McCann. I want to see Josh Anderson. Yeah, let me show you Josh Anderson real quick. I made him an 84. Uh, he had a pretty rough year, but I gave him. I I wanted to reflect his quick speed. When he when he wants to play his game, he's he's got some of the best wheels. My God, he can like he can just get by defense. Yeah, rough year. Oh, let me pull up his stats. He was so off. Like you'll see him in highlights, but tr nah, just trust me. Trust me. His best year was his first year. He had like 28 goals or something. He had 17 goals this year, 24 points, a minus 10. Like, he wasn't, <laughs> like, he, he was in a lot of highlight reels, but he was silent for most of the time. Like, trust me, I, I, I'm a Habs fan. I watched him play. He, he, he can be so good when he wants to, but he, he just goes silent half the time. Um, yeah, I know. I know. It's weird, right? It's weird. When you look at his stats, it shows a completely different picture of what you think because of the just because of the way that Sportsnet and like the NHL. <laughs> yeah, he had like seven assists. It was rough, um, but the way like Sportsnet and the NHL show highlights, it makes certain players seem better than they are, um, and they certainly did that with uh, with him. Okay, Jeff Carter. Can I upgrade Jeff Carter, please? My man, since going to Pittsburgh, has been on. Real, like he looks like Jeff Carter when he was like 25. 
I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, exactly, bro. Yo, in his in his 14 games in the regular season with Pittsburgh, he had nine goals, 11 assists. I mean, sorry, 11 points and a plus nine. This dude's a hero. This dude's my hero. Let me upgrade his accuracy on his shot. It's literally just his wrist shot too. Like his slap shot's like average, but like his wrist shot, I don't know what it is. He beats the goalies like like it's easy. I don't know what he's doing. What did the Oilers and Leafs have in common? They both they both blow three goal leads in the playoffs. Is that what you're going for? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, 85 is a little high. 85 is a little high. There we go. Oh, jeez. That's a little high. Let me lower his speed. Let me lower his speed a little bit. It's a little high. It's a good strength, but his speed's a little high there. Yeah, he's not got 88 speed. There, 83 is fair. They both give up four straight in a game and both went to OT. Yeah, I mean, hey, last the last game, though, the Leafs, the Leafs held their lead pretty well. To give them credit where credit's due. Frederick Goudreau, what the heck? He had a good year. When he played, at least. What the heck? Mike Matheson. Where Where is Mike Matheson on here? Hey, not bad. I'll give him better defensive stats. You think the Leafs are going to lose today? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind that at all. Uh, I'd be pretty happy if the Leafs lost today. We'll see, though. We'll see what happens today. We'll see what happens today. Yeah, yeah, that's... That's fair, but that's like a lot of goal scorers, right? Like, in, in the first game, he hit like three posts, so... Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's like a lot of goal scorers. They're either hot or they're not. You know what I mean? It's, it's just the way it goes. But at least at least Matthews plays a pretty decent defensive game, so Maple Leafs fans can be happy with that. He's learned as he's gone. You know, you got to respect it. You got to respect when, the, when he's a good player, you know? I, I, I respect the Leafs. You know, they're, they're a good team. They didn't get here for, for no reason, you know? Teddy Bluger had a good year, too. Damn, Teddy Blue Group. Matthew's best American player when his career ends. Uh, Patty Kane's American, right? Patty Kane's American, right? So, I don't know. Yeah, so, I don't know. I don't know. Do, do with that what you will. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking Patty Kane is... Uh, it's either him or Patty Kane, probably. You know what I mean? Either him or Patty Kane. Aston Reese is so low. What the heck? Lol, no Kane wills always be better. Yeah. It's hard to argue though. You know what I mean? It's hard to argue these types of things because they're, com they're completely different. Completely different positions, right? You know, Kaner, Kaner is a, a winger. Matthews is a center, right? It's a completely different game. It's a completely different game. So there's that. Okay, Cody Cece, what the hell? Yo, 17 points and a plus 18? Who is this guy? I'll give him a slight upgrade. Nothing crazy, just a slight upgrade. Maybe make it so we can hit the net now. Who is this guy? Make him like somewhat decent, 82. I think 82 is fair. Maybe that's a little high. I don't know, but plus 18 is a good sign. Brandon Tanev was a pretty good player when he got to play. He had a half a point a game. CC is good. What world do we live in? I know, right? <laughs> I remember. Uh, I remember Steve Dangle. Oh my God! When Cody CC was on that team, <laughs> it was the funniest thing to see oh my god steve dangle when he would talk about cody cc and all the mistakes he'd make in a season i was dying it was so funny it was so funny you know brandon tanev got some love there 
He was getting dissed on by EA. Holy cow. They had him terrible in this game. Mark Jankowski's fine. I think everyone else is fine, though. Pierre Olivier Joseph, is he getting better? Yeah, Kasperi Kapanen's been really good. I mean, look, he was never going to get this kind of opportunity. He was never going to get this kind of opportunity. Am I a Pens fan? No, I'm not a Pens fan. I don't really. I mean, I'm, I'm indifferent to the Pens. I'm a, I'm a Habs fan. I'm, I like I like the Penguins because I find them respectable. They're a very respectable team. They they've been so good for so long. But no, I'm not a not particularly a Pens fan. No, I like to see them wins though. I like to see them win. I don't know why. I just do when they win. I don't mind it. Oh, someone else. Okay, cool. Um. So yes, yeah, so we'll go to Tampa Bay. We're doing uh we're doing some uh, roster editing before my before I, before I have to leave and watch the game. Um. Tampa Bay. Let's do it. So Kucherov, I ain't touching. I ain't touch. I ain't touching Kucherov. Uh, Headman, 91. Yeah, I think that's fair. He controls that blue line so well. Stammer, Stamkos. Oof, he had a good year too when he wasn't injured. 34 points, 38 games, 90 overall. That's fair. Brandon Point, 89. That's a. Mm, like I'm. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna leave him. I'm gonna leave him. He plays through injury all the time. It's hard to it's hard to judge, you know what I mean? Yeah, I just upgraded point a little bit. But it's so hard to judge Stamkos because he's always injured. Uh McDonough. McDonough, McDonough, McDonough. How did you do, Ryan McDonough? You're a good defensive defenseman. You ain't you ain't an offensive threat anymore. Not in my eyes at least. But Tampa has one of the best blue lines in hockey. At least their top three is. At least their top three. I think that's fair, right, for Ryan McDonough? 86, is that a little high or is that fair? And should I make Hedman offensive? A little high? Yeah. But keep in mind, like, look at his stats, right? It's all, see his defense? It's all defense. Hedman stays two-way? All right, I'll leave him two-way. Because McDonough, look at, look at his stats. It's all defense. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. He's, he's a respectable defenseman. I think if you put him on any other team, he'd probably shine in the role you give him. So I think that's quite fair. Mikhail Sergachev had 30 points. You know, I think I'll make Mikhail Sergachev offensive. Yeah, that's true. I kind of I kind of neglected his defensive ability. I think I think Sergachev earned an 86 as well. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna downgrade his defensive awareness. Ooh, that really destroys his overall though. Wait, fighting skill, what the hell? Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade Ayani Gord after. I'm just getting their defense out of the way. Just making it easier for myself. Um There you go. 86 is quite fair. I'm gonna make him offensive though. I, I find like I don't know. I think he relies on uh, Headman and uh, and um, oh my gosh, McDonough for defense. You know what I mean? So I'll make I'll make him offensive there. Um, so that's good. That's good. They're a really strong team, honestly. When they're all healthy, Andre Palat. How did you? Oh my goodness, Andre Palat. Put some respect on this guy's name. He was on a seventy. He was on a sixty-nine point pace. Damn. Yeah, 86, easy. I'm gonna make him an 86. Based on my based on my stats, he's an 86. Um So I'll give him an 86. Second on the bay. <laughs> he's good, man. Not 86? What are you saying? Why not? 85? Is 85 fair to you? I'll leave him an 85 then. Because he does play with good players. I'll give him an 85. But not lower than 85. He's he, he deserves some respect. He was our second leading goal scorer this year. Anthony Sorelli. Ooh. Ooh. Sorelli. Mm. 
Now nah, he earned he earned the 84. You can stay there. Gord. Yanni Gord. Ooh, 36 points, 0.64 pace. It's a 52 point season overall. It's about an 84. Looking like a slight upgrade then. <clears throat> Yanni Gord two-way forward. You guys cool Yanni Gord as a two-way forward. Whoops. Is Yanni Gord cool as a two-way forward, you guys think? I think so, right? He, he kills penalties and stuff. Oh, man, they suck at face-offs. Stamkos is the only one who's good at face-offs. What's his face-off stat? Only 82. Okay, I'm going to upgrade that. Stamkos had a 57% face-off rate. Um, let me fix that. What am I doing? I'm confused. Let me fix that real quick. Upgrade Coleman. Yeah, I can upgrade Coleman. Why not? Upgrade Blake Coleman. Yanni Gord's good. Sorelli's good. Kalorn. Kalorn's fine. He's a good playoff performer, though. I'll boost his poise. <clears throat> Kalorn's one of those guys who just shows up in the playoffs. You know what I mean? I'm going to boost his defensive stats. His body checking. Maybe lower his speed a little bit. Offensive awareness come down. Defensive awareness go up. Stick checking go up. He's one of those. He's one of those playoff guys. You know what I mean? He just shows up when 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 the game's on the line. You want Kalorn on your team. You know what I mean? The guy. The guy's a smart player. He's a very smart player. He had a, he had a pretty good year too. Thirty three points. It's pretty good. So there you go. Tyler Johnson. Oof. I'm gonna probably downgrade him a little bit. <laughs> pretty rough year. And don't worry. I'm gonna upgrade. I'm gonna upgrade the guys you've been asking for. So Tyler Johnson, bit of a downgrade, bit of a rough year for him. I think he'll, uh, I think he'll benefit from a trade. <laughs> I think he's one of those guys who will benefit from a trade for sure, without a doubt in my mind. So you go 82 overall. He still put up 22 points, so he's still respectable, but pretty rough year there. Blake Coleman, you want me to upgrade? I can do that for you. He had a ooh, 31 point season. Look at him. Put some respect on his name. About an 83 overall. I give him an 83. Damn. He's got some good speed too. He's, he's a very smart penalty killer. Very smart penalty killer. Yeah, 83. I think 83 is perfect. Face offs. How'd you do on face offs, my guy? Oh, he was awful. Um, deking. That's fine. That's fine. Offense awareness. No. Defensive awareness and stick checking. There you go. 84, 83. Perfect. Perfect. Blake Coleman gets a beautiful upgrade, and his stats are good. I think his stats fairly represent his game. You know, he's not... I'm going to upgrade his... <laughs> 89 overall. I'm going to upgrade his uh, potential because I don't want to drop off a cliff in terms of talent in a year. So, low six, sure. So, looking at Coleman. 90 speed. You know, he's got that good defensive awareness, good shot blocking, good stick checking. You know, he plays a good two-way game. He doesn't have a shot that would blow you away, but he can still score a few there. David Savard, I think, is fine the way he is. 82 overall is about fair. He's a minus eight in Tampa. Oh, my God. Jamel Smith. He had a good year. Tyler Johnson, Jan Ruda. Cal Callan Foote was pretty good. 79 is about fair. Chir Chernak. Eric Chernak. I know I know a lot of Tampa Bay fans really like this guy. I'll give him a bit of an upgrade in terms of his defensive awareness and stuff. He's a very good defensive defenseman. I'll make him like his passing. I'll make his I'll make it so he can hit the net. You know, he can hit a <laughs> he can score on a soccer net at least. There you go. Good defensive awareness, good stick checking, good shot blocking. There you go. A good defensive player. He had a good plus minus. Barkley Goudreau. What do you guys think about Barkley Goudreau being upgraded? He's a plus 16, 20 points. Or is he good the way he is? It's up to you guys. I'll let you, I'll let you figure out what you want to do with that. Barry Belay, Mitchell Stevens. Eh. Kind of good where they are. Jamel Smith. Ah, eh, he's, he's pretty good where he is. Marion Gabrick. Maybe I'll make Jamel Smith a different player type. He's not big enough to be a power forward. I know in games past he used to be a playmaker. He has three points in five games. 
You know, I'll give him. I'll give him the playmaker status. There you go. There you go, Jamel Smith. Enjoy. Mitchell Stevens had a 60% face-off win rate. Damn. Only in seven games, so I won't. I won't change it too much because you know, small sample size and all. I'll give him like a 78. But a uh, 60% is very high for face-offs, so that's good for him. But I think that's Tampa. Oh wait, no goalies. So now Va Vasilevsky is on another level. He's on another planet right now. I didn't forget anybody, right? I didn't forget any, any of your uh, any of your requests. No, I don't think so. Perfect. <laughs> 93, 94. Oh yeah, he had a 9.25. He was 31, 10, and one. Who is this guy? Yeah, I'll give him an upgrade. Upgrade his poise too. Where is he at? Passing. Put some respect on his passing. Durability. Anyway, 93 overall, Vasilevsky. That's fair. Curtis McElhinney he was terrible. So 79. Yeah, there we go. That's your Tampa Bay Lightning. Who's next? Who's next? Toronto Maple Leafs? Yeah, let's get them done too. Let's do Toronto. <laughs> Let's do Toronto. Goalies. Oh my goodness, the controversy begins. Wh what? Yo. Who made these? <laughs> Yo. Who made these overalls? Who made these? I don't know who made these in EA Sports, but they... My God. My man's was unreal. I'm giving him... He had a 921 in 22 games. He went 17, 3, and 2. He was very consistent. I'm going to give him at least an 84. Right? I think that's fair. Right? 84, is that fair? For Jack Campbell? It's still a small sample size, but I think an 84 is quite fair. Freddie Anderson had an 8.95 in 23 games on a very good team. I'm going to downgrade him a little bit. It's like an 86. You know, track record does matter, and he, he's a good goalie. His poise is going to be lowered, though. He doesn't play very well in the playoffs. It's like 78. Just a slight downgrade for Freddie. You know, a lot of people are upset with him, but I'm sure he'll bounce back in his career. Probably battling injury, you know. 87 overall is quite fair. 84 for Campbell, small sample size. We'll see what he does with it. David Riddick had a really bad, bad year. At least when he went to, at least when he went to uh, Toronto, I'm gonna downgrade him a little bit. But I think he's still a decent goalie. I'm gonna leave him at an 81. Whoops. Get goalies out of the way first. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. At least for Toronto. So there you go. Then continue with the players. Yeah, so I'm going to do the, the skaters next on Toronto. I'm doing team by team. Just make it easy for me to remember. Just makes it easy for me to remember which teams I've done and haven't done yet. So Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, Mitch Marner had 67 points in 55 games. So it's a pretty good pace. Matthews, 94. Yeah. Marner, 92. I might make Marner 93. He had more points than Matthews, although less games, so... Hmm. Matthews good speed, good puck control, good endurance. He plays a lot. Passing. Okay. This. There you go. He has. He's gonna have one of the best shots in the game right there. 97. There you go. 98. 98 for both power and accuracy on his wrist shot. 94 overall, Austin Matthews. It's quite fair. Uh, Mitch Marner is going to be like a 93. But I'm not going to upgrade Marner's shot too much. Marner doesn't have the greatest shot in the world. But I'm going to upgrade his puck control, his passing. is is pretty elite. His accuracy is good on his shot, but his power ain't there compared to a lot of other players. Acceleration. We haven't done Edmonton yet. We're saving McDavid for last because I want to make him far and away better than everybody else. Mitch Marner had good face-offs whenever he took them. Uh, durability, deking. Who's not better than Kane? What? I'm so confused. 
<laughs> Marner? We'll see we'll see uh Kane's season, but Kane had a good year, I think. But Marner was undeniably amazing this year, same with Matthews. So we'll see. Matthews had 41 goals in 52 games. You can't deny him that. Tavares had an 89. I'll give him a bit of an upgrade. Slight. Slight upgrade. Speed. Oof. His speed is weak there. And they hate his face. They, yo, they hating on Tavares in this game, man. Holy crap. Aggressive. Yo, he was so aggressive this year. I don't know what it was about him. I saw the way he was playing. Like he was just, he was out to hurt people this year. 92 offense awareness. There we go. Willie Knee. Willie Knee. 86. Low elite. Hmm. I think that's fair. Jake Muzzin. Okay, we, we all know Jake Muzzin's a defensive defenseman. He ain't no two-way. Oh, actually, 27 points. I take it back. My apologies, Jake. My apologies. That's an insult to you. Uh, uh, Morgan Riley. I think it's pretty fair where he is. Maybe a slight upgrade to him. There you go. Perfect. Idiot. Uh, both at 66 points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Kane's probably going to be an upgrade as well. He carried his carcass of a team to a somewhat respectable level. <laughs> Imagine if Kane had Marner, Tavares, and Nylander on his team. Oh my god, that would be unstoppable. Zach Hyman had a pretty good year when he played. I'll upgrade Zach Hyman. He's definitely a two-way forward though. Zach Hyman is undeniably a two-way forward. So let's upgrade his body check and his puck control a little bit. Agility's the kind of there. Acceleration's there. Face-offs. Is he good at face-offs, Zach Hyman? No, he's terrible. Uh, durability. He gets injured. So, leave him there. Aggressiveness, 90. Hand-eye. He's got good hand-eye. Shot blocking's up there. And then offense awareness. I think that's quite fair for Zach Hyman, 85. I think that's fair. We're all in agreement on that one. He had 33 points in 43 games. I think that's quite fair. Uh, Jake Muzzin's fair. Joe Thornton. Oof. 20 points, 44 games. I guess he earned an 82. TJ Brody had an 82. TJ Brody. He was a plus 23. Hot damn. I think that's fair for him. I, oh, he's better than Dermot, though. I'll give him like an 83 then. He's better than Dermot. No offense to Dermot, but uh, Brody's better. There you go. TJ Brody, congratulations. He's a good defenseman. Ilya Mikheyev is not being upgraded. Justin Hall. Ooh, wait. Justin Hall. Medium set. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, I agree with Tyson Berry on that. I, I agree with that take on Justin. They have Justin Hall's potential as medium seventh. Jesus. That's just lazy. That's just lazy. That's just straight up lazy. I'm sorry. That's lazy. That's lazy. Um, okay, that's good. That's good. Nick Felino, how did you do in uh, in Toronto? I think 82 is quite fair. I see Felino more as a power forward than anything else at this point in his career. Felino 81. I'm gonna leave him as is. I think he. Had, I think he. Uh, he's looked good in. Uh, He's looked good in Toronto. Uh, Rasmus Sandin. Where the hell is Sandin? I think he's in the minors, but I'm sure he's. I think his overall is pretty high. Jason Spezza is getting an upgrade. My man, Jason Spezza, on the fourth line had 30 points. So objectively, according to my stats, it's a 46-point pace. That's supposed to be around an 83. Is 83 overall fair for Jason Spezza? Or is that too high? Is 83 too high for Spezza? I think it's fair, but... Face-offs. How was face-offs this year? Ooh, damn. It's good. 
I think 83 is quite fair for Spezza. What's his potential at? There we go. That way he doesn't drop off a cliff in a year. Um, okay, you wanted me to downgrade Kerfoot to an 80-something? No, upgrade Kerfoot. Okay. Yeah, I can give Kerfoot a slight upgrade. He wasn't that great this year, but I'll give him a bit, like, you know, better speed, better body checking. Oh, 82. There you go. Easy. That was quick. Thornton 99. No way. Joe Thornton at 82 is a little bit generous, if anything. The man can't even skate anymore. I'm gonna downgrade his speed if it's not already done. And endurance too. And uh, agility, that's fine. As long as his passing's still really good, I'm happy. There we go. 90 passing, that's quite fair. Face-offs, can you take face-offs anymore? Joe Thornton, can you take face-offs? Where are you at? I can't see him on my list. I'm going blind. There he is. Damn! Damn! Good face-offs. I'm gonna lower his defensive awareness. He's very smart offensively. Uh, you should do a face cam stream. Face cam stream, face cam, face cam stream. Um, maybe one day. I'm not quite ready yet. <laughs> Don't think I'm quite ready yet. Uh, one day though. If it starts, if, if I can start, uh, Nah, 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 cause I need to buy a webcam and stuff, you know, I, I want to see if I'm really, um, if I start, if I start getting more and more followers, I'll, I'll definitely start doing face cam, but, uh, for now I'm just gonna keep it as is, I'm happy with the way my setup is. Uh, Alex Galchenyuk, I feel like 70 over, 79 overall is a little steep. Just a little steep. Like, uh, I don't see him being this bad. It's very aggressive now. I'm going to leave his defensive awareness down. To like an 81. Because he's pretty bad in his own end. Coming from a Habs fan who used to watch him all the time. But I think 82 overall is pretty accurate of what he is right now. Anybody else need an upgrade? Zach Bogosian. Nah, he's fine. Ben Hutton. Nah. Riley Nash. Can't really say. Scott Sabre. No, thank you. Matt, Matt Marinson. Nope. So, all right. That's good for Toronto. We're going to move on to the last team of the stream before I call it a night because I do want to go watch the Habs game um, and get some dinner. <laughs> but uh, we already did Vancouver. Why don't we say we do Vegas tonight? How about this? How about this? We'll do Vegas Washington and Winnipeg. If I can do them fast enough. Um, so let's let's go quick. Let's go quick through these teams. So Vegas. I think we already did Washington actually or something like that. Or did we already do... Oh yeah, we already did Winnipeg. So let's do Vegas. Perfect. So Vegas and Washington then I'll call it a stream. So Mark Stone was unreal. Point per game pace. Um... So I'm gonna give him a bit of an upgrade, at least better potential, better speed. Holy cow! They made him like, they could, you know, they made it so he couldn't skate. What the hell? Mark Stone couldn't even skate before. I, I to be fair, his acceleration is pretty bad. Deking, hand eye. Oh, everyone left. Huh? Whoops. Maybe the game's coming on. Who knows? But for now, uh, Mark Stone gets a little bit of an upgrade. Maybe they didn't like that I didn't want to do a uh, face cam. <laughs> I lost him. Um, there you go. Mark Stone gets a nice little upgrade there. Max Pacioretty. Where you at? 86 for Max Pacioretty. He's a point per game. He's a point per game. EA Sports. Come on. You're better than that. Max Petre is a great shot, too. When he uses it, at least. Strength, acceleration's good. Mm, Hand-eye, offense awareness. I think 88 is quite fair for Max Petre already. Eight, ooh, 89 is a little high. I lower his defensive awareness because he's pretty bad in his own end.
Okay, well, hold up. Why is he still an idiot? How is he still an idiot? What the heck? Ah, it's because of the, uh... Stick checking. There you go, 87. Oof. He was a point per game though. It's hard to it's hard to judge, but he's a point per game. Idiot overall. Why not? Why not? Medium elite, there you go. Max Pacioretty, 88 overall. Jonathan Marsh, so 44 points, a point eight pace. <clears throat> 67 points. It's about an 86. That's fair. Shea Theodore, I think, is quite fair. I'm gonna make him elite though. He's he's a pretty good defenseman. Oh, he's a very good defenseman, actually. Give him an upgrade. There we go. Shea Theodore. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Medium elite. All right. Shea Theodore gets a nice upgrade. William Carlson on 0.7 pace. 57-point pace on the year. It's about an 85. Quite fair. Uh, Alec Martinez, an 83. Oof. What the heck? Where even is Martinez? I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Plus 26. Damn. All right. Good job, Martinez. Riley Smith, uh, 25 points. I think that's fair where you are. Alex Tuck, slight upgrade. I'll upgrade his like, offensive stats a little bit, like his speed. His puck control, his passing, maybe his wrist shot. And that's about it. 85 overall. Alex Tuck is quite fair for me. Chandler Stevenson. Holy poop. What the heck? <laughs> Yo, Chandler Stevenson had 35 points. Right, I need to be objective because I'm, I'm going to overrate him if I don't be careful. 57 point pace. 85 overall. Damn. Upgrades body checking him, decent puck control, decent passing, decent shot, decent shot, decent, like average everything, right? That's what Chandler Stevenson is pretty much. What about face-offs? 50%, it's pretty decent, 84. Decent that, decent that. Good hand-eye, good shot blocking, offensive, awareness, upgraded. There we go. Good all-around player for you. And uh, power two way forward. And he played center this year, eh? Pretty sure he played center this year. Holy. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. EA Sports. What? Is, there you go. Uh, two way forward. There you go. Chandler Stevenson gets a nice little upgrade there. Um, Alex Duck. High top six. Is that too high? I don't know. I think 85 might be too high, but that's fine for now. Riley Smith, McNabb, Brady McNabb. That's okay. Matthias Janmark. Was he even good for them? Was he even on their team? Ah, there he is. Ugh. He was injured, though. Hard to judge. Nick Haig. How was Nick Haig? Ooh, Nick Haig was good. Damn. 12 assists, too. Good for Nick Haig. Body checking is going to be up there. Endurance is going to be better than that. Puck control. The dude had assist this year. The dude had assist this year, man. Deserves better than that. My goodness. It's being gypped. There we go, Nick Hegg. Congratulations on a big upgrade for you. Great year. Great breakout year for Nick Hegg. Cody Glass. Didn't really play much, but when he did play, he was pretty good. I'm make him a playmaker. But other than that, I think I'm going to leave him as is. Maybe a slight upgrade, but nothing crazy. Hasn't really earned it yet. Whoops. Center. Right wing. Hasn't really lived up to the hype yet, to be honest. I think I'm a bit faster, but that's about it. Um, Braden McNabb. That's all good. That's all good. Zach Whitecloud. Ooh, Zach Whitecloud deserves a bit of an upgrade, too. He played 51 games, the plus. Get him into the 79 range, at least. But we lost uh, We lost our friends. 
That's okay. I'll, I'll keep going on my own. But 78 overall for Zach Whitecloud is a bit fair. It's quite fair for now. It's a very small uh, sample size. Let's move on to uh, Washington. Then we'll do the goalies last. So Washington. OV was getting roasted before. And I guess it was fair. Nicholas Backstrom was our leading point scorer with 53 points. So 89 overall is fair. John Carlson, 44 points. Is a little high this year, I think. John Carlson defensively, I've been I've heard some interesting stuff to say the least. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. There you go. Find out the word out. I'm gonna lower his defensive awareness. Leave his offensive awareness up there. 88 overall, John Carlson. Give him the offensive defenseman status and uh, move on. He was a minus, despite having a lot of points, right? That's how you get that offensive de defenseman status. Ovi, 893 overall. Bit of a rougher year for Ovi. Bit of a rougher. He got injured. He did get injured. He did get injured. Slap shot power. His shot is still one of the best in hockey. Agility, strength, maybe goes down a little bit. Balance, like... I don't want to downgrade him too much. Because he is a really good player. I think 90 overall is quite fair. There you go. I think that's more than fair. Medium franchise. Perfect. I think that's more than fair. TJ Oshie, 43 points, 53 games, 85 overall. Maybe a slight upgrade for him. Kuznetsov was injured all year, but uh, not as good of a year as you expect. Tom Wilson, I don't know why he's a grind. Don't make him a power forward. But uh, 84 overall, Tom Wilson's a little too low. Don't make him like an 85. Because he is a good player. Like, as much as I don't like him, <laughs> I'm not going to hide the fact that I don't like him. But you can't deny he's a good player. You know what I mean? You have to respect the player. You can hate the person. You can respect the player. You know what I mean? Oh, not hate. But you can dislike the person. But you can still respect the player. You know what I mean? It's one of those things. Justin Schultz. Great year for Justin Schultz. Plus 12. I'm going to take away the defensive, I mean, the offensive status from him. But I'm going to give him better defensive stats. Does that make sense? He's kind of earned the status of being a two-way with that plus-minus. You know, the way he plays the game this year. He's not the guy who quarterbacks their first unit. I'm pretty sure it's Carlson. So, good for Schultz. Had a good year. Vran had a great year going going into this year. Then they just shipped him off. Kuznetsov, maybe a bit of a downgrade for Kuznetsov. But he was injured once again. It's hard to judge. Oshie, I'll upgrade a little bit. I like the way Oshi plays. He's a good player. I'm going to leave him as a two-way because he's a good defensive mind too. But a little bit of an upgrade for Oshie. I think he I think he earned the right. I think he earned the right. Uh, acceleration. He's good. He's a good quick player. Oshie can take face-offs. Not really. He's pretty durable. And uh, shot blocking gets, gets a nice upgrade. There you go. Good defensive player. And uh, there you go. Mantha. Anthony Mantha. How did... Alright, 8 points. 14 games. Uh, I'll leave him as is. It's hard to judge. Zanachar, I'm pretty sure it's all... Yeah, it's all physical. I'm not going to change him. Orlov. Hmm... Orlov had a pretty good year. I wouldn't be fair of me not to upgrade him. He was a plus 16, too. Yeah, he gets a nice little upgrade here. I'll give him a good body checking, decent passing. You know, a nice little upgrade for him. Make it so he can hit the net on a soccer net, at least. Uh, but we lost our friends. Well, I think they're probably going to go watch the hockey game, which I should be doing right now. So I'm going to go do that. Um, but Orlov gets a nice little upgrade there. 85. Ooh, that's a little high. That's a little high. 84 overall, Orlov. <laughs> 84 overall, Dmitry Orlov. Good for him. Connor Sheary. Where is Connor Sheary? 
20 points. Lars Eller is a good defensive player, so we'll leave that as is. Nicholas Jensen, plus five. Okay, Michael Kepney. They have a lot of average defensemen on this team. Did, did Michael Kepney even play this year? I don't think Michael Kepney even played this year. Interesting. I won't touch him then. I don't know if he's injured all year. Brendan Dillon. I like Brendan Dillon as a player. Plus 15. Good for him. Good for him. 19 points. Good for him. I think 82 overall is his defensive. Yes, defensive stats are good. Good for him. Manta, Orlov, Wilson. Yeah, that's all good. I think that's fine. I think that's all good. Perfect. That was easy. No one to... Uh... I don't know about Brian. I don't know who Brian Pinho is. Does anyone know who he is? Uh, no, he uh, he hasn't earned the right to an upgrade just yet. Sorry, buddy. I don't know who you are. I looked you up, and there's not much about you in the NHL, so yeah, you need to stay as, as you are. Washington Capitals, let's go. So, 21 wins. Vanacek had a good year. Samsonov did not. Craig Anderson had a good year, too. So, I'm going to upgrade Anderson a little bit. He only played four games, but he played well in the playoffs, too. In my humble opinion, I'll give him a high starter so he doesn't drop off. He wasn't even supposed to play, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think that was his, his ideal role. I'm gonna leave. Uh, I'm gonna leave Lungfist not in 84, but I'm gonna leave Lungfist in the game at a high elite because he will come back, and we know he will, and he'll be well rested and ready to go. 83 overall, Henrik Lundqvist. Ilya Samsonov had a 902, so let's see what the game has him at. 83, Vanacek in 82. I think those are quite fair. I think those are quite fair. A lot of just average goalies in Washington there. So that's fair. Let's move on to Vegas. Goaltending Vegas. Oh man, their goaltending is going to be good. 928 for Marc-Andre Fleury. I don't know how. I don't... Oh, there you go. 89 overall, Marc-Andre Fleury. Okay, I'm going to upgrade Fleury's potential because I don't like seeing him drop off a cliff because for some reason... The man is ageless. He's an ageless wonder. 928 in 36 games. He is literally a hero. He's a superhero, honestly. If there's a, if there's a goal in this league that would be a superhero, it would probably be him. Durability is going to be up there now, too, because he just doesn't get injured anymore somehow. 92 overall, Mark andre Fleury. Congratulations to him. Robin Lehner at a 913 in 19 games. 913 is pretty good. This Logan Thompson guy, I'm going to upgrade slightly in terms of his potential because he did have a shutout in his only game. Although I don't know if it was even a start. So let's just give him like high backup. Give him a chance to make the chell. See what he can do with it. Um, just for fun. Oscar Dansk. Sure. Robin Leonard, 87. 913 in 19 games. I'm going to give him like an 86. Oh, that was easy. Thank you, Robin Leonard. <laughs> You made it easy for me. So that's going to do it uh, for this episode of Pack Edit. Pack Editing. Jeez, man. What am I even saying anymore? That's going to do it for this episode of Roster Editing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you agree or disagree with the edits in the comments section below on YouTube. Or if you want to tell me it live in person, you can uh, join the Twitch on my next stream and let me know. And I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at what you have to say. And... Uh, Go from there, because I, I respect everyone's opinions, and if, if someone disagrees with me, I'm I'm open to suggestions, because I'm not, uh, I don't claim to be the be-all, end-all knowledge of hockey, and I don't think there is one. I think everyone has a different opinion on different things, and the reality is somewhere in between all of that. So, if you have any opinions on what I, I'll, on any of the edits I made, I'll take it into consideration, I'll make some edits, I'm, as, as much as I can be stubborn, I'm very open to suggestions, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, I appreciate all the support I've been getting. Huge shout out to Iconic Brothers and Candy for being on the stream today. Um, it was nice to have them. I appreciate that they want to see my face. So I appreciate the request for a face cam, but uh, I'm going to wait a little bit. Um, you know, I want to see... I want to see if I can get this thing going. And if it does, great. I'll buy a face cam. But if it doesn't, then no harm, no foul, all right? So anyway, I appreciate all of you, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. I'm off to watch the Habs game, game three. Let's go. Peace.